Welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. Happy to be here, Bob. Today I thought we'd do a great big almighty mountain. Hey, wait, Bob. Look at my shirt. Now, I've already covered the canvas with a thin, even coat of magic white. Wait, you say magic white? Is it the same as liquid white? And let's just sort of play a little color just here and there. Play a little color. Just bounce it around. Let it happen. Let it play. Oh, shit. And what we have left here, let's just we just put it down here. It's a good place to clean the brush. One second, Bob. You're going too fast. You're going too fast. Okay, now I have several brushes going, so I don't have to wash them continually. I only have one. And this color is continually mixing with the magic white. Okay, I'm getting thrown off with a magic white, then liquid white. I need to know if it's the same thing. Okay, then a few horizontal strokes will take out all the brush marks and give you a very effective little sky. I, I get it, but there's a little storm cloud in mine. That's a, oh. And I'm gonna start with phthalo green. What the, heck? I've never heard of phthalo green before. So we have a nice, even black color. Uh, that's not black. Why don't I just use black? And when you're mixing, pick this paint up off the palette and turn it over. Okay. Yep, that doesn't work in VR, Bob. It's very hard to tell exactly what we have. So let's take a little white, put it right there, and just check it. Okay, taking a white. Check it. We'll put a huge mountain today. Huge boy. And you're really pushing this paint into the fabric. I'm pushing it. Oh, fuck yeah. I actually kind of like that. And all we're doing here is it's just blocking it in, so we're really not too concerned. Hold on, let's not fuck this up. Ooh. Ooh. Um. The only thing we're concerned about is this nice edge on the outside. Okay, it's just my own mountain range. Oof. You know what? No mistakes, just fuck ups. Bumps, ooh, a big peak right there. You can probably hear, I'm really scraping that canvas hard. Oh, I'm scraping, I'm scraping, Bob. Pushing that paint right into the fabric. Pushing it in, pushing right into the fabric. Take one of these old dirty brushes and I'm gonna grab this color and pull it. Oh. I kind of fucked that up. Can you see that? But just by pulling the brush across there. Pull it across. Huh, huh? It's a super, super little way to <laughs> sort of cheat a little bit. Oh, I'm cheating. I mixed the sky with the, with the water with the mountain. And over here, this green. I don't know where that came from. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the same black color, some burnt umber, some Van Dyke brown, Okay, let's mix up a bunch of colors. We're gonna go white, we're gonna go burnt umber. I don't know what color that is. And we'll cut across it and get a small roll of paint. It's right out here on the knife. Good, you can see that. Oh, yep, I can see it. Now, no pressure. Under more scrutiny, what I do. All you're doing here is whisper light. Act more stupidly. Barely, barely touch the canvas. Barely. Okay, okay, Bob, shh. I'm going in. Uh-oh, 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 stop, Mac, stop it, stop, okay. And over on this side, just allow some of these little things to happen. What does that mean? Let's just allow some little things to happen. Great advice, Bob. And we just work out here and there to make some, some strong shadows. We're gonna add a, a frontal mountain, like that. So this is gonna be in the foreground. That's um, forget it. Forget I said that. There. Okay, and that easy. Look at that. Look at that. It's got texture. Uh, I kind of fucked that up. Okay, maybe. Tell you what. Today let's have a nice glacier up here in this mountain. No, 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 no glaciers. And we'll start out with some titanium white. Okay, wait, Bob. I'm creating something here. This is your mountain, so you make these decisions. It is my mountain. One second, Bob. Let me just get up. Sorry. What is that? There we go. Very soft, very gentle. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Maybe, tell you what, maybe there's a little bit of snow. There he is, lays right in there. More glacier happening. 
we get this going, maybe there's some more right there. Where have you worn it? Wait, another glazer over here. Shoot, uh, I can draw a straight line, but, but it's easy to paint. Much easier than trying to learn to draw. Uh, disagree, Bob. I'm actually not that mad about this. If I put this canvas way back here, and I go way back here, it looks like shit. Just putting in dark color. You need the dark in order for the light to show. I need the dark in order for the light to show. Need the dark. What? Quite a bit of paint on the canvas here. And when this is dry, it'll it'll actually feel like rocks. It'll have texture to it. It'll feel like rocks? Maybe we'll just bring it right on across. Okay, bringing it across. Oh, whoa. And allow a little bit of that white to, to run right up the side of the mountain here. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. This is gonna be another mountain. It's my mountain like that. And this is gonna come all the way across. Shoo! That's gonna be a glacier. Watch. Glacier. It's gonna go upwards, glacier. Upwards. Uh, Let all these little things happen. Don't overwork it. All these little things. Yeah. I just overworked it. That's my problem. Just let them go. I'm not terribly upset with this mountain. This is disaster zone. What is that? We're gonna make that a boat later. Holy shit, Bob, how do you do that? Just barely, barely caressing the canvas. Okay, caressing, Bob. And you hold your hand very flat here. Okay, flat. Pinkies up. Uh, if you notice, sometimes it's so flat my fingers touch the canvas. Oh, I wish I could. Okay, now we can sort of bring this together a little bit. Pull a little bit of that dark color right out into it. Pull in the dark. Uh, kind of ruining it here now, Bob. There we go. Hey, this actually isn't too bad. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And we get hundreds and hundreds of letters from fantastic people. And they want to know, how do you get this paint off your hands? It's water. It's open water, Bob. Okay, I tell you what, maybe there's a big ridge right here. Shoot. Okay, Bob, you're putting too much work in the mountains. I don't want to touch my mountains anymore. I've done enough. And what's a ridge? What does that do? Do you see how you can just keep building on this mountain and building and building? Oh, fuck! You can take and cover the entire canvas with nothing but mountains. Fuck! I need to stop. I need to... And that's a super, super way to practice. What? Stop! Idiot! Let me just drop some of this in here and there. There's no mistakes, just happy accidents. Okay, I did say that I wanted to make this a boat. Hold on. Side mission. One sec, Bob. I'll be right back. It's unreal what you can do with an almighty knife. A little bit of practice. Yeah, Bob, I hear you're a serial killer, so I'd love to see what you do with a knife. Just a few little indications here and there. Not too much. Don't want to lose this nice darkness. One sec, Bob. In your world, you can do anything that you want to do. Yeah, in my world, I'm making a pirate. Arr. Cool. Okay, wait, what were you doing, Bob? Maybe there's some little evergreens back. Maybe there's not. So, start with a fan brush. We'll use a fan brush. Now. <sighs> I'm a big fan of this brush. Maybe I'll add a little bit of the phthalo blue to it right there. Phthalo blue. See how full that fan brush is, though? Okay, we got lots. Maybe there's a happy little tree that lives right here. Wait, we're using phthalo blue for a fucking tree? You sure about that, Bob? All we want here is just some indications. I'm gonna add some green. Clearly someone doesn't know what he's talking about. Just indications. Indications. Add a tiniest little bit of white. Oh, look at there. Oh, look at that, Bob. Whew. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll have a nice valley under this mountain. Look at that, Bob, it looks like grass. Blue, blue grass. I'm gonna add to it sap green. Sap green. Wait, 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 I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, why? Next week, I hope you join us because I'm, I'm gonna bring you a super lady named Dorothy Dent. Super lady. If you haven't heard of Dorothy, 
By the time the show's over, you'll understand why I'm so crazy about it. If you like Dorothy Bob, I'm sure I'm gonna love her. What the fuck am I doing right now? The way she paints, she is unbelievable. I, I don't get art. Probably gonna be doing a whole series with Dorothy in the near future, so. This just looks like a paint pamphlet at Home Depot. Okay, hold on, Bob. I see that you put your paint pamphlet over top of my pirate. I'm gonna have to mind his space. There we go. No touching. Just visualize these. Visualize these in your mind. Visualize these. these. Come on, Bob. Find it. English. And study nature. Nature is the best teacher. No, Bob. You are the best teacher. <laughs> Actually, just kidding. Look at this. I'm your student. This is my fifth painting with you. This is shit. Each nature will teach you color, composition. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I thought this was water. Just study it. Look at what's around you. No matter where you live. <sighs> This looks like a bunch of different colors of poop again. Let's add some brown to there. And maybe a tree lives right there. Touch, push, bend. Touch, push, bend. Just touch it, bend it. Touch it, pull it, bend it. Touch it and bend it. Bop it. Really make that brush work. Make the paint work. Make it work. Touch, pull, bend. Maybe it comes right on down the hill. Touch, pull, bend, bend, touch, pull, bend. What is this? It's like a doodle board. What? Whoa. Okay, got distracted. Is it just black with some sap green in it? I don't know what HD is, but the doctor said I have 80 of them bitches. All right, what am I doing? Woo. Cha-ching. Throw a little Prussian blue in it. Russian blue? We're just making indications of these little evergreens. That looks like a, not a tree. This is just a bush. It's not a tree. It's a... It's a, a het, a bush. Oh, green. Green water. Okay. But even tough old trees need friends, so we'll give him a little friend. One sec, I gotta do these little trees here. Touch, push, bend. Now then, touch, push. Bop it, what am I doing? These look like, ah. And we'll go right here, and we'll make another happy little bush. Another happy little bush. This is just one giant happy bush. Uh, Kind of sad bush, giant sad bush. And my pirate though, he's happy. There's a big, beautiful pine tree that lives right here. Maybe there's not a pine tree. Maybe there's a waterfall that goes like, whoa. Mm. That kind of looks cool. He's headed towards, if you could think, if you think about, wait. <gasps> okay, I gotta draw some current ripples, waves. Right? That's what a uh, current ripple is? A wave? <laughs> Fucking idiot. That actually looks like a sweet waterfall, and the pirate is headed towards it. Actually, he's not, because I put the anchor there. Bob would like it. Bob, what are you doing? So wherever you want these limbs, just drop them in. You're doing a tree? Pfft. They don't all just hang right off the sides. Okay, fine, Bob. I'll do your stupid tree up here. This guy doesn't have a waterfall, but fine, I'll have a tree. There, look at that. And I'll even add little indications of fucking branches and bark. Put a little leaf right up here. Has some fucking green in there. And Maybe, I'll tell you what, there's a little bitty path. There it is. Right there. Yeah, Bob, Bob. Yeah, you did a path, I did a waterfall. Suck it. So, from all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting. God bless. I'll see you next week. GG's. Thanks for watching. Bye.